Hi, this is Sherry Patton Ceramics, and today we will be making a hand build cup with PVC pipe. I've put electrical tape on the bottom of this. Uh, you can use any kind of tape, but I like it strong. And this PVC pipe is two inch. You can get it at any uh, hardware store in the plumber's section. Uh, I'm going to show you just a couple of different examples. So this is a, a cat here. And you can see that basic uh, cup at the bottom there. And some other examples here. This one is one that was uh, made by a student. She didn't like how it turned out, so she gave it to me. Has a little spoon for cocoa. I love it, right? Isn't this wild? It's morbid, but it's gorgeous. Just so much fun seeing what the students do. So this part is the cup. Then she added a part down here. She also spread out this rim by pinching out the sides to make it larger. So what you're going to do is start with your PVC pipe. You're going to get a piece of paper. You do need a piece of paper. You have to put the paper on it. Uh, make sure it's nice and flat at the bottom. In other words, a straight line at the bottom. It's okay if it's ripped at the top, just not at the bottom. And you're going to put it around that base as flat as you can with the bottom. Don't let it go beneath that tape. If you let it go beneath the tape, you'll probably never get your cup out. You'll have to break your, your clay cup to get it out of here. So I'm making sure that the paper is not going beyond the black bottom. Now I'm gonna take a piece of tape. Any kind of tape works. I like to use uh, painter's tape just because it's easy to rip if you put it in the wrong place. It's easy to take off. This black piece of tape is going beyond this bottom. That's a problem. So I'm ripping it. And now we're going to ready the clay. You just need, you know, uh, probably half a pound, three-fourths of a pound at the most to do this. I'm going to first press it in one direction for the height of the cup. If you have a small kiln, then you will want to have your students make shorter cups. So for this application, about three inches tall is good. This is a three inch tall cup. So if you want to do that, make your PVC pipe about four inches because otherwise the students will make it too tall to fit in your kiln. So now I'm looking at it here and this width is good for what I want because if I'm going to make it this tall, you can see that the height easily fits here. There's extra on both sides. So now I'm going to go for the length and that means the part that will go all the way around this which is about nine, nine and a half inches. So here I have two guides. Here I have one piece of plywood. They're both the same. They're both a quarter inch. And I'm going to roll this out. When it starts to get just a little bit hard to roll, you want to flip it. But I notice that I have some air bubbles here. So I'm just going to pop them, get the air out, they're little bubbles that stick up in the clay, and flip it and roll some more. There's a lot of uh, cracking here, so I'm just going to use my finger to smooth it. If I don't do that, that cracking will get larger and it can ruin my cup as I make it later. I'm going to flip this one more time to make sure that it's flat enough. If you see any bumps on the clay, I can see this little line right here. That means that I'm not done rolling it flat. 
So make sure that you get rid of those bumps before you go on. I can see that I have more than enough clay. So I need 10 inches. I easily have enough. I think I'll start right here. And I'm going to cut off this side. Don't put it in the middle. I have students who put it in the middle and then they don't get a, as tall a cup as they want. You want to put it as far to this side where you still have lots of room on the other side. Take off this extra piece of clay. And now I'm going to cut off this edge so that it's kind of straight. Now I have a nice right angle. Now I'm going to be measuring. So here I have easily nine inches. I'm going to go for nine and a half right here and just make a line. It doesn't have to be perfect there. This is going to be for the bottom. So I'm going to put that aside. Now the measuring is important. To make that three inches tall, I'm going to have to make sure and put my ruler at the bottom here. Measure up three inches and make a mark. Do it again on this side. Make a mark at three inches. And now I'm going to cut all the way across so that it's completely even. Making sure that those marks are right on. I'm going to cut straight down so that it ends up nice and straight. There we are. Now I've got the side of my cup. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to roll this clay over this PVC form. So I'm rolling it carefully, making sure it's nice and straight, right on, nice and firm. You can see I have easily enough clay. And this next step is very, very important. Don't cut it right here where they meet. You're going to put your paper clip or your needle tool at an angle. I'm going to make a diagonal line right there. It's not straight across like this. It's not horizontal. It's at a diagonal. And then I'm going to mark a line straight down this way where I'm going to cut. So as I hold this, I'm going to hold it at that angle all the way down as I cut it. Just like this. Then I'm going to take off the extra piece of clay here. Take off the extra piece of clay on the inside, and I'm going to put them together, and I'm going to smooth. So first I put them to gently together, and now I'm going to smooth. So I'm getting my finger, I'm putting a lot of pressure on this side, but then as I wipe to the other side, I'm not putting much pressure, because I'm blending these two together, evening out the top a little bit there. I really want to try to get rid of those little lines right here that I'm making right here. And I'm pushing this up so it's even, All right? And then to really make sure it stays, I'm going to roll it, roll this here, only where I put it together to firm it up. Just one, two, three. Okay, now it's really nice and firm right there. I don't like that cracking, so I'm going to roll it just a little bit there. That's better. Okay. Now we're going to add the bottom. So you're going to put your clay right in the middle of the bottom, and you're going to, to cut this not straight up, not flat and horizontal. You're going to hold it at a diagonal, and you're going to cut. Now you're not going to cut right against the side of your cup you're going to give it about an eighth of an inch all the way around. So I'm going to show you what that looks like. So this is not flat, it's not straight up, and this is a distance of about an eighth of an inch. And I'm going to cut it, I'm going to hold this paper clip at that angle all the way around to cut. 
I'm going to put it back down here to finish. It's just so much easier to cut it at that angle when it's on your table and you can move the clay. Make sure to make that angle because, now I'm cutting off the extra clay, because when you hold it up, then it's going to be a thin piece of clay here that you're going to move up the side of the cup. It makes it a lot easier. It makes it so that it's not a huge bump. Some of the students will end up not following that direction. I'll show you how to deal with that later. But right now, you're going to move your finger against just this little line. We're not going to worry about that bump here. Even if it's huge, no worries. We're going to get rid of that bump a little bit later. But right now, we're getting rid of this ugly little patchy line here. All right, I don't have too much time to be perfect right now. So I'm going to leave it at this. And now I want to make sure that this bottom doesn't crack right here. So what I'm going to do is I'm not going to lay it on its side. I'm not going to pull it straight up at a diagonal, at an angle. I'm going to roll it right against this edge all the way around to make it so that that bottom really gets fixed to it. I'm putting a little bit of pressure here as I roll it. Only have to go one time around. Didn't quite get on that edge. So now it has a funny little line right here. We want to get rid of that. So we're going to hold it about as high as four fingers. And we're going to drop it. If you drop it oddly, then drop it again. But don't drop it from up here. I have students do that and it ruins their cups. So now you're going to roll it, <coughs> not straight up, you're going to roll it flat on the side, and we're going to get rid of that big old ugly bump there. So you're going to put a little bit of pressure on this right side as you're rolling, and you're only going to have to roll it one time around. If you keep on rolling it, it's going to get really loose right here, and it might ruin your cup. Now we're going to, to smooth this rim, not on the side, not on the top. We're going to go right on top of that edge. We're going on the edge right on it to get rid of it. That's the only way to get rid of it. Please make sure that when you're doing this you don't do this little thing like this because when my students do this then the whole uh, rim of their cup is all bumpy. So you want to do a smooth run of your finger on top of that edge to get rid of it. If it doesn't want to go away, or if it wants to crack, then you need to add a little bit of water to your finger and try it again. Now you're going to take this out. If it's too hard to take out, you can roll it one more time. The other way to get it out is to tear it and lift out this centerpiece, but most of the time, and then it just automatically comes out. I'll just show you how to do that since some of my students have to do that and it just comes out. Um, also, you know, you could have one person hold on one side and one person hold on the other, but that doesn't happen very often. Just rolling it helps. So now I'm looking for the place where I attached it and I can see it's right there. There's a big line that goes from top to bottom <clears throat> and I need to get rid of that seam. If I don't, then the cup could crack there when it's put in the firing. Notice how I'm supporting it with my hand as I push on the other side so that it doesn't push the clay out. So I clean up that line, clean on the inside of the lip, of the rim, and there I have my cup. But the most important part is to come. And my teachers, you know this, your name right in the bottom.